Right, hello people. As we, as we can see, we start with the Blitz here. Um, Ornan won the toss. Uh, this is Ornan, second quarter final. Ornan versus Bleeding Hippie. Ornan won the toss, chose to receive. Um, he had induced Wilhelm Cheney and Boomer Aziasen, um and also a bribe and a babe rather than a wizard. I think he should have gone a wizard 100%. I can't believe he didn't go a wizard, but he went for a bribe and a babe. Um, and yeah, he's had the worst possible start. As you can see, he's got a fully developed thrower here. Um, edge five for passes, basically, with strong arm and accurate. He's got a bit of some stats there. He gets a pro here. The hippie, both hippie and on, both pro everything all the time. Um, pro there from the killer, going for a guarder, I guess. Defenseless guarder, fair enough. Uh, he's got some guard. He's obviously got Cheney in that. Hippie's got a couple of claw palm killers and a claw mighty and a palm. It's not, actually not that dangerous. Hippie. Hippie's team isn't even that scary, to be honest. Uh, obviously, a couple of bulls are very tasty. And he's, uh, he's putting... Well, I really would have liked this bull to be here. And the reason for that is he would be a scoring threat. And uh, I, just, I just liked him over there. And he, he didn't. He didn't do that. But that's okay. Also, he can't reach the sideline, I don't think. Three, six, nine. Yeah. So if by going one, he can reach he can reach the sideline. If he'd been one up, he would have been in scoring range and he could reach the sideline. Uh, but he doesn't do that. <laughs> Dice Lord hit me starting off on four. Um... So yeah, so he does the pass. I mean, this is pretty much all he had, wasn't it, with uh, with that blitz? That blitz was terrifying for him. And uh, Cheney, Cheney gets to smash a hobgob, but the rest is all dice rolls, isn't it? The, the rest of his turn is really scary because this guard means that he can't really do a whole lot apart from frenzy traps. But he does get to stand on the sideline because this bull can't reach him. And he, he has to go for these frenzy frenzy traps, really. Well, like that one, and then this one. Pretty much both frenzy traps. Yeah, they're both frenzy traps, but he had to go for them because he was in a desperate situation, wasn't he? And uh, he made both of them, so that was pretty good. Still piles, even though it kind of lets him, lets him block this player off to free up a hit on the ball. He still piles on, gets the cars. So now Hippie's got options. He can hit the ball. He can free up to hit the ball with tackle. Um, but he does not go for that. He just goes... He's playing a bit like me. <laughs> In the, he's just going for the damage. I guess he thinks he's going to win anyway. Um, as long as he can stop Onan recovering from this blitz. Like, you know, as long as he can keep the pressure on. Um, so that he can't come back. And re reform is all right. The thing is, though, of course, now Hippie's got a huge advantage, right? This is the, this is the thing. Hippie's got a huge advantage, and I never, I never did really. Um, but Hippie's Hippie's like way bashier than on. So, so this is a real good time to care mostly about killing the other team <laughs> when you when you're the favourite to kill them, <laughs> rather than when you basically can't kill them. <laughs> So, yeah. He does this blitz. And frees up Cheney. And gets another KO. So Boomer not doing a whole lot there. Gets KO'd. And he just goes for the foul on the... Uh, on the jump up Pommer. Only a stun. But see, he's, he's got enough pressure that... Ornan... I, I guess Ornan could have gone back, actually. Yeah. But this juggernaut, this juggernaut frenzy makes it hard to screen from the sideline. I still think, yeah, I think he could have done that. I think he should have done not what he did, which was just potato along. And then Cheney double skulls. <laughs> Brutal. Brutal. Um... So now, now he can put the wrestle tackle back and put some pressure on, on the score. And this is just working out fantastically for Hippie, isn't it? It's only turn two for him. This is a dream start. 
you know, this is the thing. He's he's focusing on the on the bash because he can. <laughs> and uh, I should have focused on the ball because I could. Yeah, 120 TV, not very useful. And Cheney's obviously great if he doesn't roll double skulls on his first block, well, second block. But the blitz, the blitz was the killer. Now he's got the obviously he's got the ball back there. Um, basing the ball, herb dirt, base, base, base. Doesn't foul Cheney, goes for the jump up dude. <laughs> no scrum at sign. I don't want to do that. And he just scores, because he's kind of got to, hasn't he? But maybe he, did, maybe he forced that on himself. Maybe he should have gone back the other turn. Uh, thinking about it, it looks like he could have run back. But he was still getting horribly out bashed and out positioned, so I don't think he. don't think it was a lot on and could have done that. Now he uses his bribe, and it fails. So, you know, it's easy to say that the bribe was a wrong decision now, um, but I didn't like it at the start. I just, I don't know how you can't, I don't know how you can pass up a wizard, you know, against this team, especially as Hippie's got such a great ball carrier. Edge four, block sure hands, kick off return, fend. You know, it's, he's, he's almost perfect, isn't he? If he had dodge or like, you know, more stats, obviously. But, you know, that's that's really good for normals and an, an agility of normals. That's a really great carrier. And the fact he's armor seven, you've got a really good chance to remove him with a bolt as well when you bolt him. So, and even just a fireball for like, for kind of pitch control or whatever, not not attrition fireball, but, uh, you know, knocking over some guards and what have you and cracking open a huge cage. I just can't believe he didn't take a wizard on him. But there you go, that was his choice, wasn't it? It's, it's not like I'm right and he's wrong. Um, I just didn't like it. There you go. Um, yeah, exactly, Done. Yeah, if he had a wizard instead, yeah. He, he'd have a decent... He's still got 11 men at the moment. He's still got 12. He'd be, you know, his only removal is that send-off. The rest were KOs, which, to be fair, have come back because he's got two babes. So... You know, Hippie, hippie prowing away happily. And Hippie's taking an actual cars. Plenty of gym pals, this LOS, I remember. Pros, <laughs> pros it into another push. <laughs> Plenty of gym pals. <laughs> now he just gives up. <laughs> he just thinks, fuck this, I'm not going to get another block. <laughs> Dirty player. <laughs> push more. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, I bet he does. <laughs> and then he relies on Dauntless to make it a 2D. With the ball completely unprotected. Um, and gets it. That was a bit controversial. Now he realises what he's done. <laughs> and gets it. <laughs> that was a bit, a bit sloppy from Hippie, that wasn't it? But um, now it's secure, isn't it? And he's got nothing to fear, especially with no wizard, really. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a lot better watching these games uh, in replay. That you know, uh, for anyone who's watching on YouTube who doesn't watch Rebel games live, <laughs> the Rebel, the Rebel, Rebel does have four minute turns, and uh, they t the games take a while, uh, especially with the playoffs. Some people, you know, really want to win and then just spend three and a half minutes thinking at the start of every turn. Uh, which obviously, if you're watching it live, is pretty boring. Um, so I thought doing the replays was the better thing to do uh, for the tubes. <laughs> yeah, if you had five hours to kill, you could have watched these. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they walk the dog and stuff. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> And so he be blitzing him back for a bigger foul. I quite like that. Doesn't pile on. Outrageous non-pile by Hippie there. But he does set up a bit of a frenzy trap. Is he going to foul? He might not even foul here. I think he should though, shouldn't he? 
Yeah, he did set up the foul and he has fouled. So three assist foul. <laughs> and he makes a huge Kaz. Instant Apo here, whatever the injury is. It's a miss next game. And what, the Apo must have failed? Or he's already used his Apo. One of the two. Good commentary this, isn't it? He must have already used his Apo. Oh, well, sorry that I missed that. There you go. There's his Berserker. Fucked. So that is pretty much, you know, that's a huge... Now imagine if he had a fireball here. He could have fireballed six players, couldn't he? Four Chorf Warriors, uh, the Bull and the Ball Carrier. He could have fireballed all these and really put a, you know, hammered, uh, hammered Hippie's drive. Obviously, if Hippie may not have set up like this if there was a wizard available. But there you go. Um... Yeah, so I really, I really would have liked a wizard, um, for hippie, but you know, and there's some one dices and stuff here for from Ornan, but you know, you can't blame him because there's this guard spam, and you know, there's not actually that much guard though, is there? There's only four guard for the chorfs, but still, um, <laughs> maybe you can blame him. <laughs> maybe you can blame him because there's only four guard on the chorfs. He's probably got as much guard. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he's got as much guard as the chorfs. Um, and more strength, but you know he's got he's got to he obviously feels like he's got to do something special to uh, get a result, hasn't he? Because he's going to feel like he's got quite a worse team. Jump up block, huge jump up block there from Hippie. Pros it to no avail. So yeah, it's. Uh Gonna pile now. Gets another Kaz. So to both both blitzers but berserkers out in the same turn. Absolutely massive. Massive for a hippie there. He tackles down the side stepper. Follows for the chainy hit. And he's pretty safe, isn't he? Now. This is, uh, I'm not sure about about the ball position from Hippie here, though. Or, or the uh, or the Frenzy Trap block. <laughs> um, but he gets away with it. And he gets the foul in. And I mean, that was a huge foul if he, if he, if he got sent off. If he got sent off for no AV break there. That's a pretty easy 2D on the ball, isn't it? You can 1D here. Ah. If, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. 1D there, and then the Strength Fork and Blitz. Um, but he sculled. Double sculled. <laughs> Hello, I can't stay. Um, and now, obviously, that's just... Annihilated his drive, Hippie runs through, screens it off, and just mops up the last few players. So half time, almost certainly gonna be one one. Foul that foul that runner again as well, or Cheney. Yeah, Rebel Clan is only three minute turns, careful. <laughs> Cause they've got overtime, yet they don't do that for the uh, playoffs. It's funny when I was when I was playing my playoff games. I wasn't really that bothered about the results um, until I lost. <laughs> and then once I lost, I was like, oh, I really care that I lost now. I wish I'd, I wish I had tried harder to win. <laughs> but never mind. Yeah, if you're in the Rebel playoffs, you need to have three and a half hours free for the potential of you know, long turns. And roll some dice here, does all man. Obviously, kind of the only option available to him. But uh, maybe Hippie could have made it harder. But, um, you know, they're always going to have some kind of a shot on the ball, aren't they? If they're, if they're going to roll the dice. <laughs> you are the journeyman team, careful. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you've got your own emote. You've got your own emote for your clan. 
brilliant. <laughs> so yeah, every, every single player's on the ground. Lovely. Loads of cars. Wish my game could have gone like this. And with both Berserker's cars, he doesn't need to bother about any jump up catching him out. Fantastic animation from the Hobgoblin. And another Kaz. <laughs> and now this is this is game over in the first half, really, isn't it? And you know, this is the thing. This is this is what I was scared of with my chaos against the Nurgle. You know, if I if I you know if if you stop the score but you take this, are you winning? <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, Ornan's losing anyway because it's one-one. Um, but you know, if Ornan had kicked and was and it was nil-nil, and he'd taken this, he's probably still going to lose anyway, isn't he? So, like, this is this is like game-ending cards like that. That is just that is just absolutely pretty much no way you can win with those cards in the first half, regardless of what the scoreline was. Well, okay, not if it was three-nil, but you know what I mean. Insane cast for Hippie. So now he's just mopping up the survivors, isn't he? Eight players. And uh, he's got he's managed to pick off like a lot of the good ones as well, hasn't he? Three of the guards are off. Both berserkers. Um, incredible. Incredible. <laughs> Chainer. <laughs> Yeah, Jayman was the original idea for the clan, but then we thought they might uh, they might not like that. Think it was some play on Jayman, and they might not allow it. So, sixteen hundred. Of course, he gets rocked. <laughs> That's what happens with Blood Bowl, isn't it? The guy who's getting wrecked gets rocked. So now it's just going to be uh, Hippie playing as probably not as safe as he normally would. You know, he's probably going to leave a, a slightly kind of easier sack on here just because it's kind of what you do isn't it when you're murdering somebody and you're completely <laughs> in complete dominant position you put you tend to play a little bit sloppily and let them get things that they shouldn't get obviously going for Cheney pros it leaving him on his least valuable player very nice armor seven as well And you know that the claw isn't a waste, is it? Because he has got claw. That you know, there's chain. He's got armor eight, and the also got armor eight. So the claw isn't completely wasted for for uh, hippie. Pretty pretty much wasted, but it's, it's still fine, isn't it? It's not the end of the world. Gets a foul in, fair enough. He's got to try and get lucky to make something happen. Does not get lucky. Gets unlucky. <laughs> and yeah, this is pretty one-sided. Maybe he's just got to think about who he's skilling up now, isn't he, really? That's, I think that, that's what I'd be thinking if I was Hippie. Um, oh, 73, he can go to 76 with a touchdown. Get piling on. That's obviously great. I'm um, surprised he didn't take part. Surprised you don't as rather than piling on, to be honest. Um, this guy could go 26 to get an MVP away. Uh, he, he's a legend. He's a legend. He's a legend. 69, he can't get to 76. So, um, he could go to 72 to get an MVP away. The, uh... One of them, yeah, he could go 26 to get MVP away, but it seems better to give it to him to get 76, doesn't it? And get piling on. Thanks, Truk. Um, yeah, it's... My team is really good. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing. Um, but, you know, that's again, that's why I didn't win my quarterfinal. So... You know, it's going to be interesting next season. See which division I'm in. Hopefully they don't put me too high. I don't think I should be in G-Man 1, but maybe maybe they'll put me there. Because I haven't played many games with a team. That's the thing. It's high TV because of all the strength ups. 
Um, I think it's a very good team for the number of games it's played, but it's obviously not as good as like Hippie's team or uh, or Saucer's team. Um, that's the problem that the, you know it just hasn't got the number of skill ups, hasn't got the number of level ups that I would like. Um, so hopefully I don't get put too high. Yeah, it's really hard to keep that good. Really hard. When you're playing like violent teams every week. So I probably should have just thrown everything at every game and uh, made sure I won this this Super Bowl. I re I should have won this season. No, no doubt about it. I think I was pretty obviously hugely favourable semi final. Um, either destroyed wood elves or crap dwarves. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point, J5. There's Cheney gone. So yeah, I mean, I'm unlikely to make through this season. I mean, I didn't make, didn't make it through this season, Kaz Free. I got my ball carry killed in the last game of the season, which really screwed up my chances a lot, actually. I think I would have played a lot differently if I'd had a good ball carrier uh, than if I didn't. <laughs> Fails a thing, but I mean, you know, what else can he do? This is actually the last game from uh, this team by Onan as well. He's, uh, he's re rolling to Amazons, and this legendary team will be retired. <laughs> no, there's none of that, Johnny Five. There's like goes on about 10, and then there's, there's, there's 10 unnumbered, and it doesn't matter if you're in 23, it doesn't matter if you're in 10A or 10B, does it? I think they're all they're all level. I think all of the numbered ones are all level. But it's hard for them to choose who's in one, for sure. Because there's going to be quite a few teams that people will think are deserving, aren't they? So, yeah, he's, he's just trying to get, get him skilled up, of course. Get get piling on, and this guy is amazing, isn't it? Or strength, if you're lucky. He's going for the 5-plus dodge. Don't know why. It was, he must have left it go on air. He must have... Oh, I don't know what he was doing. Probably going... Who, who knows? Who knows? Who cares what he was doing? <laughs> Certainly not on and our hippie. <laughs> this game is pretty much over just from the cars. And, and, that, and that really, that was the thing. You know, that's the thing against hippies team. You've got to think. I mean, as it happened, Ornan was playing the ball, um, trying to score and trying to defend... And he took those four cars that lost him the game. He lo he lost the game in the first half because these four cars, and and that's what I was thinking against against High Lord Salt. I was thinking I don't want to take a bunch of cars in the first half, but shouldn't have been scared of the cars. I don't think so. I mean, I think tears is where you've got to do with. Uh... Well, no, you can you could do it just like the NFL. Honestly, OFL was amazing. OFL was amazing doing it just like the NFL. Um, and they like they kind of seeded, they kind of seeded it so that the good coaches, there weren't too many good coaches in each division, um, <laughs> which is obviously you know maybe a little bit unfair, but uh, it's a good way of doing it. I thought. Obviously he doesn't care about anything now, he's just making the moves to try and make some kind of short towards the ball. But I think they might have done Ramiset, yeah, I think they might have done. Yeah. I think they might I think they might have just done it, yeah, exactly like the NFL basically. He'll foul him as well, as well. Runs back. I quite like that from Hippie. 
trying to go pretty safe, isn't he? Another great Hobgoblin animation, and that is GG. Not that there was really any doubt before then, but that removes any doubt. <laughs> There's no way Onan's going to be able to one turn with like six players. Though at Chinny is movement eight. So, with a quick snap, it's kind of doable. I think you would need a quick snap. Um, but six players and movement eight with a quick snap is probably possible. So yeah, there's, there's a vague chance for one turner, but what does he do if he gets it? You know, he's going to lose in overtime, isn't he? So, <laughs> I mean, like, he can go for it, I guess. So Hippie at least puts the, the gaps in. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think, he, I think you need the quick snap. So he could be setting up for a quick snap here, move him into there, him there, him out, around. Hit him to there, and then hit him to there. So you know, it's, it's well doable. But instead there's a blitz. But yeah, if, if he got the quick snap, I'm pretty sure he could have moved everyone around. Got him one forward. Got, no, actually, I think maybe he set up wrongly for the one turn. Um, but he could have got the one turn actually with a quick snap. And it also, it would have been fantastic because Cheney could have used the blitz to uh, to score. So, um, but yeah, it was, <laughs> it was really unlikely. Obviously, there's no need to do a pass either because he's rerunning the team. I'll just get the foul in. He should, could have had an extra assist in here. And it's a gym foul. <laughs> so there you go. On an absolutely ruined. 23 AV breaks to 3. That looks like my game versus uh, Toast Guy. Just absolutely brutal. Um, yeah, di uh, Dice Lord Hippie. Uh, uh, you know, it, he, he played well enough, I think, Hippie. You know, he, he pressured the ball and stuff from Blitz, but the Blitz pretty much decided the, the Blitz and then the, obviously the AV dice and everything kind of decided the game, didn't they? I don't think there was a much. I don't think there was much Onan could have done, really. Um, and obviously not much, but then also not much better that. Hippie could have done, so there you go. It is what it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is above on and level AV breaks for Hippie, exactly. And surprisingly enough, the guy with the most armor breaks won. More, he, <laughs> Kippy made more Kaz than on and made AV breaks. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.